What's up, y'all? What is up? It's your girl, EJ, and welcome back to my channel, y'all. Today, we're talking about the Tima, y'all. And this last episode had your girl out here crying. I mean, it was a lot. It was pretty heavy. Let me just say that Devel did his thing. He did an amazing job on this particular episode. So y'all already know that this episode starts right where the last one left off. Now, y'all know that we do go live every single Tuesday to talk about this in full detail. So of course, I'm just going to be giving you my quick thoughts over what happened on this particular episode. Now, first and foremost, Bryce has been irking me and he irking my nerves, y'all. He and Angela are both irking my nerves. Bryce, because he keeps wanting to push Zach into this deal. And now we have this situation where the money is frozen. Zach has no idea. Bryce don't know why the money frozen. Like, what in the world happened? I guarantee you it's something that Bryce did. I don't care what nobody said. I'm pretty sure it's something that Bryce did because Bryce has been moving kind of shady, y'all. I do not trust Bryce whatsoever. So, yeah, definitely something that he had going on. But now we know this is going to have Zach with a whole nother issue. He already got so much to deal with. And then this entire episode, you know, I was side eyeing your girl Fatima, although I did understand why she didn't want to go up there where Zach was, because the last time she went up into that hospital, y'all, Zach did some foul stuff. And she knows that if she goes in there and he does it again, that this is the end for them. Like there's no coming back from this after that. So I get why she didn't want to go. But at the end of the day, if she loves this man, if she cares about this man and she truly wants to be with him, then she knows she had to take her ass on up there and be there for him and be there with him no matter what the outcome was. If he pushed her away, then she got her answer and she know it is what it is. But if he accepted her in and if he let her be there for him, then she knows that she can possibly try to move forward with this relationship. And that's exactly what happened. Zach didn't pull that same crap. He did exactly what he was supposed to do. And your girl, Connie, as annoying as she was, she actually had a lot of points in this particular episode. And honestly, I just wasn't that, you know, that annoyed by her this particular episode because she was telling Fatima some straight facts in this particular, you know, as it related to what she was talking about. She was just letting her know, like, look, he don't want nobody but you. Like, he turning down, you know, the, the good goods, because he just want to be with you and that's it. And you need to go in there and be with him. So I'm glad that she decided to go and be with him. I'm glad that she changed her mind and went up there. But child, when Belinda was up there, oh my God, why was Belinda even there? Like her and Nate just doing too much for me. Like, oh, I don't know, just those two in general are just a lot. Uh, but at the end of the day, we can see that Belinda actually has some real true feelings for Zach. It's what it really all boils down to. She actually really, truly liked him. And that's the reason why she's so upset about the situation, because she liked him. However, he's with Fatima and he didn't really want nothing to do with her. She literally was just a smash and dash thing to him. And I guess that made her feel a type of way. And maybe that's why she's so butthurt. I mean, honestly, I can't tell you. But if the man don't want you, he just don't want you. And why would you think that it was OK to show up there while he's going through something so traumatic when he's already hurt? He already going through it with his girlfriend. His mom is in a bad situation, possibly about to be unalive. But yet you're going to bring yourself up there like you the person he want to see like really Belinda that just didn't make no sense to me I get that Nate said he just needed a ride so he was just trying to get there but there were so many other ways that he could have gotten there because he definitely could have used a ride chair he definitely could have called Tony like there were just different options he did not have to accept her ride Nate just to be doing too much for me as well so there's that but at the end of the day you know Nate you know he lets him know that he always gonna be there for him like even though you know, they ain't rocking with each other right now. He stayed there regardless to try to be there. It's just Belinda old trifling ass wouldn't leave. So anywho, the other person that was getting on my nerves this entire two episodes was Jeremiah. Jeremiah is just, oh my God, Jeremiah is just so hurt and he just got a problem and I get that but he still gets on my nerves at the end of the day both he and Zach definitely have been traumatized by all the stuff that their mom has put them through and not that I'm a hundred percent blaming her because I'm sure that there's some circumstances behind all of this I'm sure there's a reasoning how she ended up where she ended up 
But being raised by her, I can see why these two are where they are. And I can see Jeremiah's side of it. And I can see Zach's side of it as well. They, I mean, they just, they was in some effed up situations when it was all said and done. But Jeremiah definitely has a problem. He needs some help. But, you know, I don't know. When him and Zach was in there tussling on that ground on the hospital floor, I was just like, they doing too much, like way too much. But, you know, it is what it is. So I don't know, y'all. I just thought that this episode, uh, to be honest, the two episodes together really were like a one big continuation of each other. A whole lot didn't really go down, but it was funny when Bryce's cards weren't going through and <laughs> oh boy, wasn't trying to help him out at all. Now, I'm pretty sure I cannot think of what his name is. Sorry, I cannot think of what his name is, but... um. I'm pretty sure it's the guy that Angela, you know, is seeing right now. And <laughs> he was not being nice to Bryce at all, y'all. He made Bryce go stand over there while he waited because he said he needed that table. I said, well, dang, okay, I see you. So anyway, y'all, this is going to be interesting. And did y'all see how uh, low-key Angela was kind of sort of jealous of Bryce going out on this date. I mean, you really don't date somebody in the same building. Like, it's not no other building you can go find women at, Bryce. I'm just asking. I'm just saying. You know, I ain't saying there's nothing wrong with it, but at the same time, you know, nine times out of ten, you probably gonna run into her, or you gonna run into Fatima because they on the same floor. Like... Y'all just be doing dumb stuff. So that was up with my quick thoughts on Zatima. Let me know what y'all think about this episode because I know y'all got a lot to say about it because it was definitely a lot for sure. Do you think that Zach's mom is, is she going to make it? Do you think she's going to make it? Or do you think that Miss Gladys is about to be out of there? And what did y'all think about Jeremiah? And what do y'all think is going on with this money and Bryce? Oh my goodness, it was just so much. <laughs> so anyway, y'all know we're going to be going live to discuss this in full detail on Tuesday. So definitely come out and hang out with us. We're going to be going live at 9.15 Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday. My girl Tamika's Den and I, so definitely join us. Meanwhile, go ahead and start talking about this episode down in the comments. And I will definitely meet you guys in the comments to discuss this episode with you. If you like the video, make sure to go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to your girl channel. Turn your notifications so that you do not miss out on any of my future Zatima content. Now, YouTube says that you just might like this video next, so go ahead and take a look at it. Until next time, guys. Peace. Maybe I should just give someone else a 